Water levels on Lake Ontario and St. Lawrence River and invasive species, two important issues for folks who make their living or uh, do their recreation on the bodies of water that I just spoke about. Dave White is here from New York Sea Grant to talk more about these issues. Good day. Good, thank you for coming in. We Good appreciate to see it. You. Um, water levels are just horrible right now, Dave, and, and we're early <laughs> on. What we, is going on? We, we are. It's uh, going to be an interesting year, and folks that live, work, and play along not only Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River, but even inland waters mm -hmm. are obviously seeing it's not the same as it was last year. You know, and depending on how long they've been around that body of water, they're comparing up. Yeah, right now we're almost a foot below average where we should be. Um, and, you know, if you look at the projections, we're going to stay below average at least until August. They're, they're hoping they'll be able to bridge that gap. You know, when they look at the models and how much rain we should get into the system. But you have to put it in context that the entire upper Great Lakes is below average as well. So all of the lakes are below average and precipitation is way down. So, you know, when folks are watching the weather and they're, you know, they're watching Beth or others do the report and they're talking about, oh, look how little rain we've had, that has a huge impact on our water system. They're making predictions already for August saying that we're going to be below average. So even if we have an average rainfall yes. for the summertime, we're still going to be below yes. average on the water. Yeah. If you look at the chart, they always give you three things, and you can go right online and see the chart, and it broadcasts out three to six months, is the, the line is below average until about August on a normal average year. So if from today forward, we get back to average precipitation in the basin and throughout the system, it would get back to average about August. Uh -huh. If we stay below average like we have in this month, you're going to continue to see this well below average throughout the rest of the summer. If all of a sudden, you know, we get like what back in 92 where we had a lot of rain over the summer, it could get back up to average very quickly, but then it's gonna rain all summer and you're gonna not wanna go to the cottage and out on the lake boating and we're gonna lose the whole recreation tourism season like we did back in 92. We are behind the eight ball on that, it sounds like. We are, but we are in good company. Yeah. And that's where, you know, a lot of folks are gonna, you know, lake level management gets confusing for a lot of folks, but you have to look at it that it's a systemic issue. 85% of the water coming into Lake Ontario comes from the upper Great Lakes, only 15% from our own drainage basin. But the the whole system's down. So when it's down to the north of us, and you know, and, and it's down here in our own system, that's where we suffer. And a lot of folks have talked about their favorite local stream or creek or, or pond is also down. I mean, they're seeing areas going, you know, wow. And you know, that's where they need to start planning now for the boating season. Is you know, when it's down, we're going to have a problem with with mouths of harbors that haven't been dredged or yeah. normally are shallow to begin with. Um, and also remember, a lot of areas where there's shoals and rocks that you know you've been driving over. Get the nautical charts out. Re-familiarize mm -hmm. yourself with your bodies of water because that's where you're going to run into real problems. Yeah, and no one has money to dredge now anyway. Um, and a lot of people want to blame the IJC, the International Joint Commission for the Low Water Levels, but it's Mother Nature. I want to talk about uh, invasive species as, as well because that's okay. a continuing issue for uh, the, the lake and river. Where does it stand and, and, and what is it that, that's important right now? Well, again, you know, it's the time of year as folks are getting their boats ready, be thinking about getting back on the water, be thinking about don't transport. I mean, you know, more and more, that's what it's all about is you got to make sure when you're putting that boat from one body of water to the next, make sure it's clean, drain it, clean it, dry it out, all the crevices, nooks and crannies, your trailer, anything that's come in contact with the water, you got to make sure it's clean so we're not transporting them because the issue continues to be bringing new ones in. Um, obviously, huge concern about Asian carp. Uh, mm -hmm. The Supreme Court just this week decided not to take up the current action that's been brought to court. Um, so they've set it back down to lower court. So the Great Lakes states are still arguing amongst themselves and within the state of Michigan and others to say, what are we going to do with the Chicago sanitary diversion? Um, they really want to try to separate the Mississippi and the Great Lakes back out. Um, but that didn't get through the Supreme Court this week. Dave White with New York Sea Grant, thank you so much. Online you can find it at nysgextension.org, NYSG standing for New York Sea Grant. Thank you so much. Great to see you and to be with you. Thank you. Back here in a couple of moments.